Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yeah, have you ever wondered how many charges and arrests Asselmo has had in his lifetime? Well, here's your answer today, thanks to Andre Sloan. So, then, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and let Andre Sloan do the talking. Unless I have to have something to say, which is only a couple times since I've already watched the video straight through, and it mostly has something to do with the kidnapping charges where I want to say something. And there's two instances of that, and that's all really what I'm going to talk about right there besides, well, the outro anyway. So let's go ahead and carry on, shall we? Hello, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, delve right into this. So we've got Auditing America, uh, Anselmo Enrique Morales Torres um, from Winter Haven, Florida. We're going to start out with the judgments that he has against him. And in March of 2008, Janice Rosado uh, won a judgment against Morales for $7,260 for child support. And then in 319-2009, Janice Rosado won another judgment against Morales for $8,167 in child support. Then we jump ahead to March 10th, 2010. Again, Janice Rosado won a uh, lawsuit or judgment against Morales for $10,519 in child support. Starting to sound to me like he's a deadbeat father that does not pay his child support. Then again, that was 13 years ago. But ladies and gentlemen, we will look ahead. Now in, uh, or on, I should say, um, September 28th, 2011, there was a judgment against Morales, and it doesn't actually say who it's from, uh, for $378. And then we skip ahead to April 6th, 2015. There was a judgment against Morales from the Florida Department of Revenue for $9,000. $851. So that's the five judgments that I found against him. And then we look ahead. We have in our uh, just recently, very, very recently, 5-24-2023, Morales was divorced from his wife of uh, Nancy Morales um, with children. So I imagine he's been ordered to pay child support for those children. Um, we'll continue to watch ahead here to see if he actually pays the child support for him. And then on 9-28-2023, there was a balance adjustment for child support to Janice uh, Rosado. And as of 2021, he was still in arrears for child support to her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's skip ahead to page number one from December 21, 2004. We had three charges. Uh, they were all traffic violations. Uh, we had seatbelt law. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt. We have uh, 15 to 19 over the speed limit within any municipality. And we had a violation of a restricted learner's driver's license. Uh, he was convicted on all three. He was given a $137 fine for the seatbelt, a $198 fine for the uh, speeding, and a $133 fine for the driver's license uh, violation. And then we go ahead for almost a whole year on uh, December 1st, 2005. Anselmo was uh, cited again for seatbelt law, the driver not belt, uh, seat belted, 55 in a 30. That boy was in a serious 
speeding uh, charge. He was trying to get somewhere pretty quickly, of which he received a $274 fine because he was found guilty. And then we have another charge of violating a restricted learner's driver's license, of which he received a $133 fine. And now we skip ahead to February 17th, 2006. He could not provide proof of insurance. He was found guilty and given a $92.50 fine. Uh, on April 6th, 2006, he was cited for driving uh, while license suspended. Uh, Osceola County, Florida, and there was alt, uh, alternative adjudication, and he did not receive any uh, fine for or anything going on there, which is interesting because on 4-12-06, uh, he was uh, uh, cited again for driving while license suspended, and he was found guilty and given a $222 fine. On June 7th, 27th, I'm sorry, 2006, he was cited for unlawful speed. He was found guilty and given a $118 fine. We skip ahead to five or May 4th, 2006. He was cited for three different charges, one of them being a violation of a restricted driver's license, again, Seatbelt uh, law, the driver was not belted again. And 48 and a 35 on posted county rows. And he was given a $136 fine, a $92 fine, and a $176 fine. And we skip ahead to January 10th, 2007. He was charged with grand theft in the third degree, which was a felony. He was found guilty. He was given three years probation, 10 hours of community service, and a $2,025 fine. His probation was revoked in 2010, and he was sentenced to three months and 26 days in county jail. Now, on January 15, 2008, he caught another unlawful speed charge uh, for, uh, it says, on just, it just said unlawful speed in a 70 mile per hour zone. Didn't give, you know, how fast he was actually going. And that was in Flagler County, Florida. He was found guilty and given a $231 fine. Now, we skip ahead a few months, uh, almost 18 months, actually. And on August 18th, 2009, he was given a charge for driving a vehicle in an unsafe condition. He was found guilty and given a $180 fine. And again, on 8-25-09, he was found, uh, he was given a charge of driving with a suspended license. He was found guilty for that charge and given a $241 fine. And now comes some uh, very, very serious criminal charges. On February 13th, 2010, Anselmo was arrested for kidnapping with intent to commit a felony. Uh, attempted sexual battery of someone who is 12 years of age or older, a battery a domestic violence charge, and a battery charge uh, just all together. Now, it's very interesting. Three out of four charges were dropped. He was only found guilty on the battery domestic violence charge. He was given uh, one year in jail one-year probation, and a $1,617 fine. So, a dumbass Selmo likes to beat women, huh? Likes to beat those who uh, show a little bit of love to him. Yeah, kind of figures. Yeah, it seems like he's that type of guy. But you know what? I'm aware that the charges were dropped. But I've seen that kind of thing before. It's called battered women syndrome, where the, uh, well, in this particular case, the woman decides to drop the charges because she's made to feel like she was the one that instigated it. 
because, well, and put simply, as Elmo probably made her feel that way to begin with. I've seen it before with my landlord who had an abusive boyfriend, and it was a continuous cycle of charges being levied and charges being dropped. So I know what it looks like. And As Elmo seems like he's that type of person. And there's an additional uh, charge later on of kidnapping once again. But you know what? I feel like I've addressed this, so I probably won't say anything else until the end. And so let's go ahead and carry on with the show, shall we? Now, the crime that was committed here was against his girlfriend and his baby's mama. So... Now, on April 8, 2011, he uh, got two charges. Unattended vehicle left running with a key in the ignition. Is that still a charge down in Florida? I mean, that's, that's ridiculous to begin with. And look at the fine that he got for that. He got a $150 fine, or, I'm sorry, $151 fine for that charge, uh, and, which was actually more than driving his vehicle in an unsafe condition because he only got a $116 fine for that one. And interestingly enough, he was given uh, alternative adjudication by the judge who sent him to driving schools, which he failed, and that's why he ended up having to pay the fines. Now, on April 19th, 2011, the same exact month, he got charges for driving a vehicle in an unsafe condition, uh, which he was found guilty and given a $141 fine. And then his charge of uh, driver's license not uh, carried or exhibited upon demand, it was dismissed after he paid a $10 fine. Now, on June 11th, or Ju I'm sorry, June 29th, 2011, he was cited with no valid driver's license, and he was found guilty and given a $413 fine. <laughs> oh, August, or uh, 2011 was a bad year for him. August 25th, 2011, he was cited with driving while license suspended. He was found guilty, and it was fined. I didn't see on the database where um, what the actual fine was. And then we jump ahead to June 25th, 2012, where he caught some serious, serious uh, felony charges uh, for an incident that he had with a uh, girlfriend. Um, he was charged with kidnapping or false imprisonment, imprisonment of an adult, which was a felony. He was charged with battery which uh, of domestic violence, which was also a felony. And he was charged with hindering or delay the prevention of communication to law enforcement. Interestingly enough, two out of the three of the charges were uh, dismissed. One of them was nola prosequi. One of them they didn't take any action on. But he was found guilty of the felony of battery, domestic violence. He, had, he was given two years probation, which he failed. So they sentenced him to nine months in county jail. Plus, he was given a $2,597 fine. And the charge on this one was a girlfriend of his uh, of about 16 months. Uh, they were living together in a domestic uh, situation, so that's why I think uh, it was so serious. But we're finding out here that Anselmo has a problem with females. He seems to enjoy um, assaulting them, and uh, especially when they're in a relationship status. All right, we're going to jump ahead almost a year to June 11th, 2013. He was arrested for driving while his license was suspended. He was found guilty. He was given two months in jail and a $759 fine. And then on the same day, he caught a careless driving charge. He was found guilty and given a $226 fine. Uh, we skip ahead to September 3rd, 2013. He was charged with leaving the scene of a property, uh, leaving the scene of an accident with property damage. The two properties would mean that both vehicles were damaged. Uh, there's absolutely no information on that charge other than that. Um, no disposition or anything. 
And we're going to jump ahead almost a year to July 16th, 2014. And he caught a charge for driving with a license suspended again. I almost wonder if this guy's ever had a good license. You know what I mean? Uh, he was found guilty. He was given two months jail time. And he was also given a $530 fine. Uh, so, all right. We're on to page three now of uh, Anselmo's criminal history. And on July 16th, 2014, he was arrested for driving with his license suspended. I think I just went over this one. Yeah, he was given a $530 fine. I apologize for that. Now, we skip ahead four years. Now, I cannot find um, any information in those four years, you know, whether he was in prison, whether, you know, he was in jail a few times or, you know, whether, I mean, he obviously moved from uh, Osceola County, Florida up to Rhode Island. Um, a lot of his videos, as you remember, you'll, you'll remember he was in Rhode Island um, and did videos in Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, or not Pennsylvania. Uh, Massachusetts and um, Connecticut and places like that. So on uh, October 22nd, 2018, he caught an, an obstructing police officer charge in Providence, Rhode Island, and there is no disposition on that charge. Uh, on May 13th, 2019, he picked up a disorderly conduct charge in Providence, Rhode Island, and that charge was dismissed. Uh, we skip ahead to October 2nd, 2020. He bought a domestic violence felony battery charge. It was a domestic battery by strangulation. Uh, if you remember the picture in the uh, earlier, he did not look very happy at all about that charge. He was arrested by the Winter Haven Police Department in Polk County, Florida. Uh, but that charge ended up being dropped. Now we skip ahead to uh, January 11th, 2021. He was arrested uh, for trespass on other than a structure in Duval County, Florida. He pled nola contendere. He was given two days in jail, which he spent, uh, which was time served because he spent two days in jail before he got bonded out. They withheld adjudication, which was a, would be like an ACD, adjournment and contemplation of dismissal, and he paid a $408 fine. And we go to, uh, just three weeks later, or two weeks later uh, that month, on January 25th, 2021, he was found guilty for um, possession of cannabis or cannabis paraphernalia in Orange County, Florida. They found guilty, but they declined to adjudicate. So uh, I cannot find if later on uh, they gave him a fine or anything like that. I could not find it in the system. Uh, we go ahead four months to May 3rd, 2021. He was arrested for disorderly conduct in Hillsborough County, Florida, and that charge was not prosecuted. And then uh, we all remember that uh, Anselmo was able to take a nice trip to Saipan and Guam, Guam and uh, some other places, uh, uh, some of the islands there. He uh, had a really good time. But when he came back on uh, November 28th, 2022, uh, he was arrested for a charge that I was never able to find. Um, and I don't know what city it was in, but that was upon his return from Guam. Uh, when he was over there on vacation or slash work because he did a lot of uh, frauder videos while he was over there. Now, I know there is more charges than that because I have videos of him being arrested in multiple places. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not able to see anything in uh, the database that I go into. But anyways, um, that's going to be the end of the video on... Uh okay, thank you very much, Andre Sloan, for showing us all this and for your rather rigorous research on this monster known as Ass Elmo. Or, or the guy who wants to be called a freedom fighter, a man standing up for everybody's rights. Well, dude... You're not exactly a freedom fighter, 
And this just makes you look like a common, no good uh, career criminal who can't be trusted at all. I mean, we all we got to do is watch your videos and see how stupid and, well, the abusive personality traits that tend to pop up in your videos as you try to dominate those you perceive as weaker than you. Like I said before... I saw my former landlord going through it all the damn time. And you know what? She kept on going with the cycle every single time. And But I'm sure it looks like that most of these women didn't want anything to do with uh, Aselmo after they uh, experienced him so Good on them if that's the case. They managed to break the cycle before it ever really began. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?